This is VIX Financial Strategy, and in today's lecture, we're gonna be talking about the VWAP indicator. We're gonna give you a quick understanding and do a quick rundown of what the indicator does, how to use it in your day trading strategy, and really what it means for the market between correlated algorithmic trading. Now, I just unpacked a lot, so let's break down what VWAP is specifically. We could see VWAP up here. VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. It is this orange line down here. It's a very simple moving average line. If I were to turn on other moving averages like these, let's say we have the five, the 10, and the 20. These ones are a little bit messy. They're a little bit more complex. Moving averages like the 10, 20, 50, 200 day, 50 day, they work better on the daily candles but specifically VWAP is for day trading only. Day trading specific uh, tends to work best with day trading on the one minute, five minute, and 15 minute candles. The cool thing about the VWAP indicator is that it doesn't change between the candles. So the volume weighted average price is always gonna be calculated based on this down below. It has nothing to do with the moving average price vertically. It's only calculating based off of the volume that is given and presented. So let's do a brief look at this chart right here. This was today's chart on Apple. I just, I'm doing this chart because it was today. There's no rhyme or reason, but we'll see that there's similar patterns that take place on the VWAP indicator uh, today, yesterday, shoot, maybe even tomorrow. We'll see that there's a couple things that happen at VWAP that are a little bit consistent. And if you notice these things, you can build it into your trading strategy and it will help you with entries, exits, and it will help you understand where the trend is. Okay, let's start at the beginning of the day. VWAP, actually let's go before the day started. This is uh, 6.30 my time when the market opens up here in the Pacific time zone. We see that VWAP, all of pre-market is calculated right here. It looks a little bit, a little bit more volatile, or actually it looks pretty smooth, but usually it's more volatile than this. There's a lot less volume as we know in the pre-market, and we know that volume really starts to pick up at market open. So when the market opens up, expect VWAP to take a couple candles to um, find its price. I'd say just the first candle, and then you could start trading from there. Um, of course, the beginning of the day and the end of the day will have the highest amount of volume. So the VWAP indicator gets a little bit uh, wonky at the beginning and the end. But let's just start off with the day. We're on the one minute candles. We see that we are trading below VWAP. So we're below the orange line, therefore, this is giving us an indication that the price of the stock at the moment is below the average price based off of volume. Now, I like to think of VWAP as a simple indicator that tells you who's winning the trade. If you're below VWAP, like how Apple is for the first, uh, say, hour of the day, sellers are winning the trade. The second price goes above VWAP, we could say buyers are winning the trade. And then we see that towards the end of the day, sellers start to win the trade. Now let's see what happens at VWAP specifically when we are breaking and when we are touching. VWAP is similar to a key level. So in key levels, we see that there's certain pivot points for stocks depending on different price points. We see that there's a key level here at 125.07. This is where Apple bottomed out today. But we also see that there's key levels here and here. Think of VWAP as a key level or a pivot point. Something is always gonna happen at VWAP. It's either gonna reject like it did here in the opening, um, the first opening minutes, first, uh, I'd say, first 30 minutes of trading, we kept rejecting off VWAP, rejection here, rejection here, here. Uh, we had a break above and then we get slammed down. So we would call this a rejection off VWAP. Once you see rejections off of VWAP, then you look for downside. Once you see a clean break on VWAP and you see it uh, close on the five minute candle. So let's move to the five minute candles. Once you see it break above, close above, then you could say that you're maybe an uptrend and then you look for upside. And then always expect, this ha tends to happen more often than you think, always expect a retest of VWAP. Sometimes certain days a stock will break above VWAP and never look back and never come back to VWAP and never touch it ever again. And it will just be straight up or it might just be straight down. But more often than not, we're gonna see price action look similar to this, where it's very choppy, where you're rejecting, you break, you get the retest, you bounce off of VWAP, notice how it's bouncing off of VWAP. It goes up, it tests again, 
it tries to break out, gets rejected, down, nice breakout, finish the day in the ski level. Well, we're on a different day, but that was the overview of VWAP on this specific day. This was the last trading day of the year, super choppy. Um, trading is not ideal in choppy scenarios, but VWAP can make it a little bit simple. But here's one of those days I was talking about where VWAP is being touched towards the beginning of the day and you might see a move where it's straight down and we never come back and retest VWAP. Great, I'd say every one out of five days is like this. So maybe like 20% of days are like that. But on a day like today, on a choppy day where the market is trying to uh, make a move upside, make a move to the downside, what you can do is you can play the rejections, you can play the breakouts, and you can play the retest. Now this was a prime example of a VWAP rejection turning into support, going up, we had a break. Uh, on today's trading day, this whole breakout or this whole volatility move was all news induced. This was the Fed minutes when they came out. So during news events, VWAP gets invalidated, but later we saw a breakdown and then we see that retest, always look for a retest, perfect opportunity to go short at the retest and look for more downside. And then we got another retest at market close. The cool thing about VWAP is that Apple, which is a highly correlated name to the SPY, looks very similar. So I'm gonna flip from Apple to SPY. Do you notice any similarities? Rejection at open, break, turn into support, touch key level, come back down, try to retest here. Uh, this was the Fed minutes volatility, break down, look for short opportunities, retest, always look for retest, short on the breakdown, retest again. Very, very similar chart. Now, VWAP is a very common indicator for bots and algorithms as well. Algorithms, um, let's say big banks, hedge funds, let's say they want to open up a position on Apple and let's say they want to buy half a million shares. Instead of, let's say Credit Suisse or JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, instead of those banks going on the market and buying half a million shares right at market open, pushing the price up, instead of doing that, what they do is a program calculated buys at the volume weighted average price or strategic buys throughout the day. So what happens instead of buying it all at once on a market order, pushing the price up, you're not gonna get a good fill. What they end up doing is spreading out the risk and spreading out their entry points. So they may be buying here at VWAP, they might be buying here, 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 here. They get a much better average price when they are trading off of the volume weighted average price. So that's bot algorithms and how they trade off of VWAP. That's why it's very common. You will see bounces at VWAP. If buyers are stepping in at the average price, very common thing to see. Now let's flip our attention to a couple charts at once so we can draw some similarities between the two. This is all from today. Right now I have the S&P 500 up top. I have Apple down here. I have the tech sector ETF, the QQQ down here, and I have Netflix. They're all very similar, but let's look at some divergences between the two and let's look at how price action is. So we're focusing on the last couple hours of trading. We have the SPY right here, S&P 500, 500 of the largest companies. It comes back down for retest. We get that Fed minutes volatility right here and then we break below. So generally 99% of the stock market is below the VWAP at this moment and we are trading downwards and we're looking for downside. So as a day trader, you'd be looking to short sell to the downside. Um, we see that VWAP retests at the same time Apple retests. Apple gets a perfect rejection here. We get a rejection here as well on the S&P and we get a breakout turned into support then rejection on the QQQ. What was the outlier today? So what's good about the VWAP is that you will see that there is relative strength and relative weakness when you're comparing uh, large tech caps, whether you're comparing small tech. If you have a basket or you have like a group of stocks that have high correlation, uh, generally, you are looking for divergences and that can help you trade. So Netflix was a good opportunity to go long the whole day. Uh, actually ended up going short here. Um, actually, precisely, I went short exactly right here. But Netflix is a good example to go long at open as you're trading above VWAP, try to add some more at VWAP test. That's one way you can do that because Netflix was having relative strength versus everything else. If you were to compare the charts on a five minute, we see that very similar, but has relative strength. So market open on the S&P, we sell off the first hour of trading. 
So open up choppy, sell off. What does Netflix do? Open up green, slightly sell off. Bounce at VWAP, go up for about three hours while the market's going up for about three hours. As the market chops around until the Fed minutes, so does Netflix. But here's where the divergence starts. The divergence starts, and this is why it's, you use VWAP and you can use other indicators, but what's really cool to see is that once the S&P 500 breaks VWAP and trades below, we notice that Netflix is holding support, it's holding VWAP and it's trading above. So it's an uptrend. Uh, it gives you a good indication of what's trending, what's not, helps you out a ton when recognizing relative strength and relative weakness. Now, I hope that gives you a brief understanding of the volume weighted average price indicator. I hope that helps you understand the differences between relative strength, relative weakness, gives you an understanding of bot traded algorithm buys, um, average price, just a very simple indicator. Now, remember to wrap it up, VWAP is just an indicator. It's one piece of the puzzle. Don't base your whole trading strategy off of it. It is only a tool for the tool shed. One piece of the puzzle. There's a lot more things that go into why a stock moves the way it does. So happy trading guys. Thank you for tuning into this video. Stay tuned for the next lecture.